Hey, yeah. hey, Wayne, Wayne, hey, hey, um, yeah, Gerard, why don't you, uh, you know, lead us in prayer? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any father? Thanks for taking good care of all of us for the whole week. Yes. And thank you for the rain that is going to come when we really need it for the drought. And also we pray for the virus situation. Hope that God will prepare us for everybody so that we don't have any effect on the, I mean, uh, no allergy on the vaccines and hope that the vaccine is going to take the virus away. And we also pray for tonight's um, Bible study. And Lord, please fill us up with the Holy Spirit and let us understand your words more. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Hey, guys, you know, yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, start the study anyway. Yes. Um, I don't know you. You guys know it. You know it's uh, you know for the uh, uh, Jewish people. You know they have the festival of light. Oh, for Hanukkah, Hanukkah. You know, um, and it is for eight days. So you know it started last evening. Yes, oh. yesterday. So um, yeah, we we have uh, <laughs> we have the. Um, you know, um, the Cantonese study uh, last night. So, you know, it was the first night. <coughs> so, uh, it continued to next uh, Friday, you know, because, um, um, and you you know, kind of know the story, right? You, you know that story. I think it's about the, what, the um, Maccabee War, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think the light was, uh, they, I was hurt. I was I hear that uh, they only have oil for one day and up for burn for an eight day. <laughs> uh, yes, Something like that. Yes, that's, that's that's it. You know, that's it. Yeah. Um, um, let's see if I can uh, get get a simple so uh, the all the other people see it. You know, and no count. Yeah, the, it started December tenth. The evening, well, that's last night, and uh, ended on Friday next evening. I mean, next Friday, and um, and then if you do the translation, <laughs> but Chinese have uh, different the Chinese. Gong Ming Ji. Gong Ming Ji. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know, there's one translation. I see. <laughs> Yeah, they also, uh, you know, of course, uh, it's probably more better, uh, you know, to be um, uh, something like that, you know. Um, so a different different translation. Okay. Um, that's why, you know, they uh, light a candle every night and, um, you know, until all eight candles were light to commem commemorate their you know, uh, a ability to recover the temple and to dedicate the temple, yeah, again. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we kind of, you know, maybe talk a little bit about the uh, world situation. Okay. World situation. Well, uh, this is the uh, Israel, uh, the, the, you know, the news, um, um, you know, the Google News for Israel. And uh, the world situation is uh, basically, uh, like Gerard said, you know, the vaccine and uh, a lot of tension in the Middle East and of course the vaccine and the virus and, uh, and this is the Jerusalem Post. Um, they have the website to uh, John Hawkins also. And uh, what's going on is um, in terms of uh, infection, uh, it, you probably know, you know, US, India, Brazil, Russia, France, 
uh, UK, Italy, Spain. Um, yeah, that's, uh, uh, to be honest, uh, you know, pretty much uh, all the uh, religious they religious, you know, that, um, you know, somehow the uh, attachment to the ancient, um, you know, uh, religious law, the Ten Commandments and other religion also. Um, and uh, we, we will uh, talk about that some more, you know, in, at the end. <sighs> and California is also, um, you know, yeah, very happy, you know. Uh, but, you know, we look to the law. Now, Israel is also under curfew, even though they, they are high account, you know, they, um, they are not doing anything good, you know, over there. Even. So, uh, we have this uh, first passage in the New Testament. Uh, in fact, uh, it has to do with uh, the, you know, where well, they call it Hanukkah, but uh, in our New Testament Bible, it's called the Feast of the Dedications. The Feast of Dedications. And uh, Wayne, can you read this for us? Okay. All right. <clears throat> And it was at Jerusalem, the Feast of Dedication. And it was winter. And Jesus walked it in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jew around about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to, to doubt? If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered to them, I told you. And ye believed not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness for me. <clears throat> but yet believe, but ye believe not, because ye are not my sheep, as I said unto you. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. So uh, this is uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 10. Uh, in fact, uh, that is uh, the chapter uh, when he talked about himself as the good shepherd, the true shepherd, and and then you know uh, some other miracles, and then um, it's in the temple. It's on. It was winter, and it's the feast of the dedications. It's like last night. <laughs> You know, if they had a temple, you know, and then Jesus was there, it was that day. And it is on the third year of, you know, the last winter. Uh, because uh, Jesus, on the next uh, spring, you know, and he's, he will come back to the temple again and then to the our uh, uh, sin offering. So, you know, that, that is what's happening. And um, so uh, I, I highlight uh, Solomon's temple, uh, Solomon's porch. I highlight that, you know, so later on we're going to uh, use that as a focus point, focal point. But, you know, uh, obviously by the third year, you know, the Jews still have no faith. They just reject Jesus. You know, they, 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 they still, after 2,000 years later, you know, they're still waiting for the Messiah because uh, they, they couldn't figure out, you know, they, they thought uh, Jesus is, is a traitor, you know. So um, they still, you know, uh, want, want to know, but, you know, they, they just refuse to uh, accept Jesus. And then the way Jesus answered is very, um, actually, very plain, you know, because uh, there were so many miracles. And then, he actually told them all the time, but they just don't believe his word. You know, they just don't believe his word. And they, it's not just the words they don't believe, it's the works too. Because Jesus every day, you know, have um, signs and miracles for the last, uh, you know, for the three years, signs and miracles. And those works, that he did was in, you know, he, you know, he always used my father, my father. 
So, um, so it's not just the Jesus word, but even you know, in 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 fact, it's the works, the works of Jesus. Jesus, all these three years, did signs and miracles in in the name of God, His Father. And those works, you know, signs and miracles is not like, you know, just talks. You know, he he did he he did preach his word, but you know, he he also did his works. <laughs> And they, you know, those who uh, bear witness, you know, so Jesus was very thing. He already said he's the Christ, but, you know, um, his, his kinsmen, you know, his, um, his countrymen refused, just could not believe that. And then, you know, um, and then, you know, he kind of summarized and said, well, but ye believe not because you are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, yeah, you know, it's so sad because uh, it's like, um, you know, for them to, in the history, to taking a, a long detour, you know, in the end, in the future, you know, the, um, the nation of Israel will come to the faith of Christ, but still not, not, you know, completely yet, you know, not told, you know, uh, that would be in the future. Now, this is John chapter 10. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to talk about uh, the Sol Solomon's porch and uh, what it means. And the time was the feast of the dedications, which was like, um, uh, in fact, it's this week, you know, starting uh, last night <laughs> to next Friday, the Hanukkah. Yeah. So, uh, and then, you know, uh, you remember, you know, we just look it up at uh, Google, uh, call it uh, uh, Gong Ming Ji, Gong Ming Yat, right? Gong Ming Ji, yeah. But in, uh, in, um, in Chinese Bible, it's uh, Sao Ding Ji, you know, because uh, it's uh, recovering uh, the temple that has been, uh, uh, you know, invaded by the, uh, uh, the Syrian. And uh, so, you know, they, they um, we dedicated, you know, so that's why it's called Feast of Dedications. But, you know, continuing on the same chapter, uh, you know, that we read uh, previously, uh, the previous uh, passage, you know, this is continuing. So um, let's see. Um, I'm going to have Wayne uh, read some more. How about that? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which give them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. <clears throat> I and my father are one. Then the Jew took up stones <clears throat> again to stone him. Jesus answered to them, Many good word have I through you from my father. For which of, the, the, <clears throat> of those word do ye stone me? The Jew answered him, saying, for a good word we stone thee not, but for blasphemy and because that thou, being a man, make thyself God. Mm. Wow, this is, um, this is really good stuff, you know, especially for, you know, um, right in the middle of this uh, passage. You know, my sheep, we are all sheep, but you know, uh, because he's our shepherd, my sheep hear my voice and I know them. He know every one of us. He know our names. He know us uh, 
since uh, the beginning of creations, before before the beginning of creations, he know our names, and we follow him. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never they shall never perish. They shall never perish. That they and them is you and me. Eternal life shall never perish. I know, you know, uh, you know, of course, um, even in churches, you know, people die or uh, they went to sleep, you know, as the Bible say. Uh, you know, it does not matter they when when they sleep or die, because every one of them, this is uh, the promise, you know, of our Lord Jesus. Every one of us, you know, we when you know the day we believe in Jesus Christ, we we confess with our mouth and in our heart we believe and we we are in you know his flock we are in his kingdom and jesus said i know them and they follow me and i give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish and then to emphasize <laughs> he said Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. And my father, which gave them me. So the father is in love. Yeah, because for God so loved the world that, that whosoever believe in him, in the son, shall not perish, shall not perish. So no matter what happened, each of our days, know that, you know, this is God's word. This is the word of Christ, our savior. You know, just be still and, and, and you know, watch, um, you know, his, his, his work on you. Which gave them me is quicker than all, you know, so, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. So it's not just his, uh, you know, uh, leading, but also the father has a hand in it about our eternal life and about our never purge. So this is God's work. Now, well, of course, uh, you know, that was uh, where it said, you know, uh, well, I said, said is uh, then, you know, when he was saying all these things, of course, uh, they didn't understand it. They, because uh, they couldn't accept the fact, you know, Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the Savior. But so, you <laughs> so instead of, you know, uh, being thankful and grateful, you know, uh, so the, the Jews at that time took up stones against to, to again to stone him. So it's more than one occasion, more than one occasion. And then Jesus asked them, answered them, you know, when they tried to stone him, Jesus answered them, many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him saying, for good works we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou being a man make thyself God. Yeah, so sad, so sad, you know, because, and, and if, if you think about the irony of it, you know, because um, they call it festival of light, and that uh, they rededicate the temple to God, Right, and they call it a miracle from God, you know, that uh, they have enough oil to last eight days. You know, to them, that, that sounds like a very important, great miracle, yes. 
is a miracle. But and then you know the the Son of God stand stood in front of them personally, and then offer to them the first first you know first drop <laughs> that that they they could have eternal life, and they could never perish. But you know they they rather believe their mind rather than, you know, I mean, all those good works that every day, you know, Jesus did all over the country and, and they didn't conquer them. They, they just hardened, you know, the heart was so hardened. So, you know, it's kind of like an irony, you know, because that day was the festival of light. And it's supposed to be the festival of dedication of the temple. <laughs> you know, but you know, this is this is this is like um, you know, like it's a junction that they make the choice. They choose the, the other one. They choose the other one. Jesus offered them the way, but they chose the other one. And so end up, you know, we we get the benefit. You know, it's so sad. And, and, you know, everyone recognized, and even they recognized, you know, Jesus did good work, healing, right? You're not just uh, making the declaration, uh, the good news that he is the Messiah, but, you know, he, he did it back up with the works, the healing, uh, the uh, driving out of the uh, demons, you know, all this mental uh, stuff, mental sickness, and uh, bring them back from life. Dead people be uh, uh, come to life. The funeral become a celebration. And uh, the, uh, the wedding uh, to have more, <laughs> more wine <laughs> for celebrations, you know, it's all good works, you know, and 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 you know for doing that, you know they they just refuse, you know, e even with the works, and they they still refuse his words. So you know it's so sad. Now finish off. Uh, this is uh, the rest of the uh, chap uh, chapter ten of. Uh, Gospel of John. Uh, Yehon, can you read this? Is it too small? Sure. Uh, no, it's, it's okay. Jesus answered them, Is it not written your law? I said, Yeah, or gods? If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, see, yeah, after he, whom the Father had sacrificed and sent into the word, do blaspheme me, because I said, I am the son of a God. If I do not uh, the works of my father, believe me or not, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe the works, that is ye, ye may know and believe that the father is, me, is in me and I in him. Therefore, this sword again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand and went away again beyond the Jordan into the place where John at first baptized. And there he abode, and many resorted unto him, and said, John did no miracle, but all things that John spoke of this man were true, and many believed on him there. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So, so he, uh, he uh, answered that, Answer then uh, with um, the, the you know the text uh, from the Old Testament, and then he said, "Well, you know, you have been called. You are gods. You know, even the children of Israel, you are gods. Of course, it is a lesser god. You know, it's not the god, <laughs> but but still. And 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 then you know he was very clear to say, uh, you know." He did not blaspheme because uh, 
you know, he has shown, you know, that his by his works, that what he said is true. Well, he did all these extraordinary, supernatural, spiritual miracles, signs and miracles. Uh, and, you know, he, it's not like, you know, he just talked, you know, he, he did that and out in opens and then he's not afraid of them. You know, although, you know, they, every chance they got, you know, they, they tried to kill him many times. And, but every time, you know, he, he get out, you know, he's like, you know, he, he uh, know how to do Kung Fu or something, you know, he, you know, he escaped out of their hand. You know, because the time is not yet, you know, you know, a few more chapters and then on the, on to the la next spring, then, you know, he was willing to lay down his life, but only on the father's time, not on people's time. You know, he was not murdered because he was willing to be our sacrifice for the sin of the world. And, 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 you know, this is kind of revealing also, you know, um, when he left, you know, we went out uh, to uh, out, outside Jordan, beyond Jordan, outside the, you know, the Canaan, the other side of Jordan. And uh, where John, uh, were, you know, was uh, doing baptism, um, you know, on many. And many resort to them. And many believe on him there. So it's like, you know, in Jerusalem, all these religious, you know, types, they refuse Jesus. But when he is, you know, out there in the, in the you know, beyond Jordans, you know, where, uh, uh, you know, maybe even uh, there are some Gentiles there too. And, and many, many believe on him. You know, that, that is really, you know, what, what's happening, you know, um, um, you know, in, in this world, you know, what, what's happening is, um, um, is, uh, I, and I'm not talking about just the, um, um, you know, the, uh, Gentiles, you know, I'm even talking about in, in churches, it's like that too. If you think about that, you know, a lot of time in churches, they don't believe in science and miracle. They don't even believe Jesus uh, still have signs and miracles on everyone, his uh, people, you know, because uh, just because uh, in their religious minds, they don't, they got to clo close their mind and they say, well, our seminary don't teach that. So uh, it's not true. Or maybe the commentaries, you know, for a long time, the commentary, you know, uh, you know, like, you know, oh, this is 400 years old. Oh, oh uh, John Calvin don't believe that. So I don't believe that. You know, it's that kind of attitude, you know, because we believe in Jesus. We are not believing the church. You know, the church is not our God. You know, that, that is the trouble, you know, we have also, you know, and, and I'm not criticizing them because I'm better than them because I, for a long time, many years, <laughs> you know, so big, the big heart, big chunk of my time in churches, you know, I, I also do not believe too much on uh, science and healing and miracles because, you know, we, we, you know, we take, tend to follow whoever is leading us, you know, so that is the trouble. That's the trouble. Come, by the way, you know, let's talk about uh, the John the Baptist. Over here, John, the, the apostle, Gospel of John, the apostle, said that John the Baptist did not do any miracle. The only thing he did uh, was to say this man Everything, all the, all that Jesus done is true, is the truth. And, and then many on, believe on them, on, on him, Jesus.
Wow, that's interesting. You know, because of why, you know, um, uh, I want to talk about uh, uh, John the Baptist. There's this, um, uh, you know, commentary by uh, Jesus on John, you know, when he was in prison. And John uh, was in uh, doubt about who Jesus is, you know, even though he, he know. He know that, you know, Jesus is uh, the Messiah. But when he was in prison, he had some doubt. And so he sent his um, disciples to ask Jesus. And then after they saw all those uh, miracles, uh, after the, the disciples left, and then Jesus talked about John. Okay, uh, uh, this is short. Uh, Yan Huan, can you read that anyway? Sure. Yeah. This is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. For I say unto you, among those that are born of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist, but he that is the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, this is very strange, you know. Now, uh, we, we kind of know, you know, on earth, um, uh, John the Baptist is kind of like a cousin to uh, Jesus because um, their, their mothers, you know, on earth uh, know each other. <laughs> you know, so uh, it, it's all in the Bible. But, you know, so, you know, Jesus was uh, very kind to talk about John, even though he has doubts. You know, in, in the prison, you know, in prison, um, you know, when uh, people are in a hardship, you know, they have doubt. And, and you know, our law understand that. Our law understand that. And, and, but, you know, when he was talking about, he is a greater prophet than any that was born of woman. John the Baptist is a greater prophet than Moses. Then, then uh, Isaiah, then Elijah, then Elisha. He's a greater prophet than all the Old Testament prophets. Now, this is way odd, you know, because he didn't do any miracle. <laughs> he didn't do any miracle, you know, but, but Jesus said he is a greater prophet. <laughs> So, uh, well, he, here's the reason why. He's the only prophet of the Old Testament that actually saw his Messiah. All the other prophets talk about Messiah, then they have no idea uh who who he is they they don't know the messiah that personally but john actually did so he's a greater prophet than all the other old testament prophet see see that you know all the now uh having said that you you have to recognize in uh, gospel times be, before jesus was crucified that he became our sin offering. Uh, the, all the gospel people uh, in their times are uh, living in the old covenant. They are still under the LAW. So John is an Old Testament prophet and he's the greatest. You understand? <laughs> but according to Jesus, he said, John, even though he's the greatest prophet uh, in Old Testament, but in the old new covenant in the kingdom, he is the least. <laughs> because why? Because all, you know, each one of us, even our least, like me, right? We all have Holy Spirit in dwelling in us. We have Holy Spirit in us. We already make holy. And, and John did not have that benefit because he died before Jesus died. So he, he was 
the last and the greatest old covenant prophet. But compared to us, he is the least. <laughs> See? So, you know, that, that is so good, you know, because, um, you know, you have to understand, you know, the, 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 the new covenant gave us so much because of Jesus' works. You know, he, he did all this work to show that he can. And then actually he paid for all of them on the cross. You know, he had, you know, you know, he has healed this, he had healed that. He had driven out all the demons. He has made the people, uh, the blind people see. He has made all the deaf hear and talking. You know, he has, he has done all these signs and miracles because he has done it. He had paid for them all on the cross. He took away all the curses. He died for our sins. And uh, he, he, he gave us righteousness as a gift. So, you know, and then you, you, you already read, you know, the, uh, the, you know, the part of John, you know, that uh, chapter 10 about, you know, how, you know, how, you know, we, the sheep, will never, never, never perish and then have eternal life. You know, and then it's more than one place, you know. So this is, this is the comfort. This is the blessing, you know. Now, um, I, I was, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the, uh, you know, the Solomon's porch because uh, it is on, in that particular day, uh, in the Feast of Dedication, that uh, they had this encounter with the, uh, the Jews and they were going to stone him. And then, you know, he has, uh, all this revelation about his believers, his uh, disciples, but also uh, that place took, took place in the Solomon's porch. So I, I like to bring this uh, to you. Uh, well, you know, you say a spiritual meaning on the Solomon's porch, and I believe it is. Uh, there are only three times in the New Testament uh, that is a mention of the Solomon's porch three times. So uh, we're going to go over it quickly and then try to figure out, you know, what's the relationship. But before that, I'm going to show you uh, that Solomon's porch was not built by Solomon. Okay. It's not built by Solomon. In fact, the Solomon's porch uh, is not the same Solomon's porch in the temple, in the original temple of Solomon. So I'm going to show you that too. So, you know, I tried to look for the Solomon's porch in the Old Testament. Well, they, they, you know, <laughs> they, do, they do have porch and then it's also, uh, you know, uh, to the temple, but it's not the same as the one that uh, they were walking, you know, because uh, the, the Herod, King Herod, uh, built a bigger temple ground. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's all changed. It's all changed. So. If I look for it, uh, you know, there are mention of porch. And this this one, first King chapter six, uh, verse three, is, uh, is the porch before the temple house, temple of the house. So I would assume, you know, oh, really? 
That means uh, this one must be the later on the temp the Solomon's porch. And then, but you know, it was uh, very strange. It was not very wide. Uh, it said in the porch, uh, since it's in one word, and the porch before the temple of the house, 20 cubits, was the length thereof according to the breadth of the house. So in other words, it, uh, the width of that porch is very small. It is only the uh, same width, same width as the temple building. You understand? 20 cubits, like 30 feet. Okay, one and a half feet uh, per cubit. So it's, uh, it's 30 feet wide, you know, the temple. And the porch is only also 30 feet. And and so, you know, this is certainly not the same as the Solomon's porch that, um, you know, later on, um, you know, most people try to, um, you know, show. So if you look at nowadays, you know, they, they think of the Solomon's porch is like, um, you know, like the temple ground, and then they say, oh, you know, this is a long porch. You know, this is a Facebook uh, no, <laughs> picture. Um, so, you know, you know, they say, oh, you know, th th this is a Solomon's porch, very long and then very wide. I mean, uh, well, it's big enough, you know, for many people, you know. And, and so it's not really the temple, uh, right in front of the temple, you know. So I tried to figure that out. And then uh, I, think, I think this one is the best one. So this is the whole, this is the, the, this is the temple. And this is the Holy of Holies, where the uh, Art of Covenant is. And this is the Holy. And this is the porch. See that? This is the porch. You understand? In other words, uh, and then outside there's a pillar. So in other words, this is kind of like a, the, uh, the, the, you know, it's a kind of like a, uh, in front of the uh, canopy, in front of the temple, you know, and, um, and it's connected. So this is the original um, uh, porch. Okay, but it's not same as the uh, Solomon's porch. You know, uh, you know the uh, Jewish people like to attribute, uh, you know, everything to Solomon, because uh, I guess you know they think he's the greatest king or so forth. You know, because they didn't know Jesus, so so uh, they always say, well, okay, you know, this is uh, Solomon's porch. Uh, but anyway. So uh, the second, uh, there are three reference to the Solomon's porch. And this is the second one. So uh, Gerard, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, can you read for us the uh, uh, Acts of uh, sure. Paul, chapter three? And he took him by the right hand and lift him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received the strength. And he leaping up stood and walked and enter with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God, and they knew that it was he which set for alarms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and um, amaz amusement, amazement that which had happened unto him. And as the lame man, which was healed, held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us as though by our own power or holiness we had made his this man to walk thank you thank you 
Now, this is in uh, the X uh, chapter three. Now, you remember X chapter two is the uh, uh, pentacles. And, and so this, this actually is the first account of the miracle performed by the disciple Peter. This is the first miracle <laughs> in Peter's ministry. <laughs> he, he, was, he was just uh, getting into the temple and then he saw this uh, uh, lame man, you know, and then he just um, say, you know, the, the silver and gold, I have none. And uh, this is what I can give to you. And then he just lift him up, took his right hand and then lift him up. Bang, you know, <laughs> he received the strength. And then he was lifting up, you know, that's amazing. Lifting up, you know, and then stood and walked. And then entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping. Wow. <laughs> Praising God. Yep. And, and, and then all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they knew that it was that guy, you know, that was uh, used to sit around in the uh, outside the gate into the temple ground, the beautiful gate into the temple ground. And, and they, were, they were filled with wonder and amazement. Now, this is kind of like, you know, the first uh, egg of Peter. Well, he did others too, but you know, this one is really amazing. You think about it. And then, so they gathered together unto them and uh, they were, you know, standing around at the Solomon's porch again, <laughs> greatly wondering, right? You know, because uh, they thought, wow, you know, the power come from Peter. No, so Peter was, you know, saw that you know they said kind of that kind of things wondering he answered unto the people ye men of israel why marvel ye at this or why look ye so earnestly on us as though by our own power or holiness we have made this man to walk now that's that is uh, the the problem you know most religious people they are looking for that kind of man religious people looking for religious leader. You know, they somehow say, well, you know, uh, you have to have a, uh, someone high up, you know, to pray for you. Uh, you have to have Billy Graham. You, know? <laughs> you have to have, um, you know, and uh, you know, that guy have to be holy. <laughs> no, Peter said, you know, it's not my power. It's not my holiness. It's all because of Jesus. It's all because of Jesus. You know, even Peter, you know, under the spirit, you know, he, 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 he would tell you honestly, this is all because of Jesus. Now, all these things happen at the Solomon's porch. So, you know, hands up, you know, from this point on, you know, all these signs and miracles that Jesus did, uh, and then, you know, he did, you know, because of, you know, the power from the, from high, from heaven. And this is Solomon's porch. This is Solomon's porch. So, so it is like, you know, um, Jesus brought up the fact that, you know, it is his work that his, he did all these miracle and works. Uh, to show that he's from God and to show that what he said is God's word. And then he and the father is one. And, and so, you know, the, the key, you know, uh, of faith is you have to believe, you know, Christianity, you know, the, the, the Christ of the Bible you know, have that supernatural because he is the true God. He is truly son of God because, you know, if you, you cannot believe uh, that, you know, he has that in your life, that he can do this for you, then there's no use. But, you know, even the first miracle 
at the Solomon's pot of the whole, the first miracle of the church. You know, if you don't count the Pentecost, you know, Pentecost is a miracle too, yes. It's all God's work. But you know, this personal miracle, this physical miracle, you know, it's, uh, it's, um, you know, to show that, you know, um, there is, uh, the, you know, by Holy Spirit, that, you know, there is miracle, but it's not because of our power and it's not because of our holiness. You know, I, uh, at this point, I want to share, um, you know, like uh, yesterday, you know, I went out to uh, get some uh, takeout from a Chinese uh, restaurant. And um, and um, I was talking with the lady uh, at the cashier, and um, I I I told her, you know, that um, you know God God uh, you know the Lord you know um, our Lord Jesus want us to pray for other people, blessing other people, because um, you know He want to, He want to bless other people, uh, because you know He is true God, and then He is God of love. And then, you know, she said something is very profound. You know, she said, um, you've been here, you know, uh, for this number, you know, few, you know, last few months. And for whatever reasons, you know, and, and you, you know, I, I, I usually uh, left them, you know, instead of say thank you, I, 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 I pray, for, you know, uh, the blessing on them and their family. You know, I, I say blessing on, you know, in the name of Jesus on, 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 on them. And and she said, you know, for whatever reason, you know, seems like the restaurant is doing okay, and not all doing okay, not just doing okay, but everyone will, you know, do, do not get any sickness. You know, that's what, from 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 what she said. <laughs> and I told her, yes, you know, because it, it's not because of my power. I don't have power, you know. I mean, in personally. But because of Jesus and his holiness, it's, it's the Jesus power in his name. When we pray, you know, you know, God bless them, the Lord bless them, especially the Lord bless them, you know, even more powerful than God bless them. But no matter what, you know, when you say that kind of thing, you know, the people get blessed because uh, the, 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 the law we believe is is the only true God. Anyway, <laughs> that's that's what happened uh, yesterday. <laughs> okay, this is the third uh, account of the porch of Solomon. Uh, this is uh, actually quite. Uh, um, I'm trying to figure out who. who uh, this uh, probably I should uh, make it bigger, uh, and um, I I don't know if uh, you know when sometimes you uh, it's difficult for you to read. I'm going to have Yang Hon read that. Sure. Uh, let uh, me make it bigger. Oh no, it's okay. Oh, I, I, okay. Yeah, I can I can see it. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and and it was about the space of three hours after after. When his when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. And Peter answered unto her, Tell me whether ye sold the land for so much? And she said, Yeah, for so much. Then Peter said unto her, How is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out. Then fell she down straight away at his feet, and yielded up the ghost. And the young man came in, and found her dead, and carrying her forth, buried her by her husband. And a great fear came upon all the church, and upon as many as heard these things. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. And of the rest, do no man join himself to them, but the people magnified them. 
and the believers were the more added to the Lord, multitudes, both of, the, both of the men and the women, is so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on bed and the couches, and at the least the shadow of the pitter passing by might overshadow some of them. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed everyone. Amen. 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 <laughs> so, so this is the third account of the Solomon's pouch. You know, it's uh, very strange because uh, turn out, you know, the Solomon's pouch, it was not in the original temple, right? And, but no matter what, you know, these uh, three, three accounts, it's uh, all carrying something about signs and miracles. Now, um, I have to say, you know, because um, in general, I, I believe in the new covenant is all blessing, all blessing, all blessings in general. Uh, and, and, and it's still true. But in this particular account, you know, well, two, two persons die. And it's uh, kind of shocking, right? Well, you know, uh, supposedly uh, they have, well, you know, according to the account, you know, they, they have lied to the spirit of the Lord. Why? Why? What happened was uh, this uh, Ananias and uh, Sapphire, um, you know, uh, the husband and wife, apparently joined up to the, you know, that early church. Uh, and they met at uh, Solomon's porch. <laughs> that was uh, where the church was. And, and, and so what happened was, uh, uh, because, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, they joined together, you know, and so they need substance and, and all that, you know, so, uh, uh, you know, many people, um, you know, gave up the, the, their money and then, uh, you know, sold their, you know, uh, properties and then uh, give, offer to the church and but these two persons uh wanted wanted to do it but you know they they um they were lying well they were lying to the people but obviously um you know apparently uh the, you know of course the spirit of the law holy spirit know them and then so peter know it also <laughs> because peter has the holy spirit in him too <laughs> So anyway, so so what happened was, uh, you know, you don't know the reason uh, why you know this. Um, uh, they they want to lie like this. Uh, somehow you know they did not know you know that uh, you know this God is for real. <laughs> yeah, but they they still want to uh, get uh, uh, you know impress other people. They said that oh, oh I have over the the whole you know. So they were lying to men, you know, that to impress people. And uh, maybe they want to be a leader or maybe they want to get uh, some benefit out of it uh, or blessing, you know, like, like Jacob or something like that, you know. But it didn't work, it didn't work. Now, but the outcome was because of this one case, so many more people, well, first of all, all the, rest of the world, you know, they, they pay attention. They say, wow, really? It was shocking. So, uh, so uh, they, they respect them more. They are afraid of them. Well, even the church was afraid of that too. <laughs> because, uh, you know, in, uh, in, the, in the New Testament, you know, there was very few things like this. In the Old Testament, it's all the time. In the Old Testament time, you know, this kind of punishment or or, or, you know, uh, negative stuff uh, happen all the time in Old Testament. You know, like the whole city or whole village was destroyed because of, you know, their, their offense. But in New Testament, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's very few, few uh, accounts like this. So now, anyway, the net outcome is this. The net outcome is, Many people 
uh, found out, you know, because of this, they found out that the healing is for real. The healing is for real. And it's so real, you know, it's not just the Jerusalem people. And it's for people from all over the country. All of the cities run about in Jerusalem. They, they all come and then bring their sick. And they got all got healed. <laughs> so, so, uh, so it's, it's like, well, okay, you know, they, they did, uh, you know, uh, they have uh, this uh, sad thing uh, for these two persons. But the net outcome was there were so many, so many blessed and so many healed. And now, so, you know, I would uh, suggest to you that this um, Solomon's porch spiritually have meaning. Uh, but let's uh, think about some more about this uh, two, two, uh, this, uh, two persons, Ananias and Sapphira. <laughs> I did not change it to English, <laughs> but you know, this is Ananias, right? And this is Sapphira, right? And and, uh, you know, uh, and like we shared previously, uh, all the names in the Bible have meanings. You know, it's uh, very strange, you know. So in, uh, in the uh, book of Acts, you know, the Acts of Apostles, uh, Ananias, uh, there are actually two Ananias. Uh, this one, you know, is a sad, sad thing. But there was another Ananias. Uh, he was the, uh, the, the brother that, uh, was told by the law to uh, receive uh, Saul to become Paul. And then uh, he, he prayed and then uh, his eyes uh, blinded, you know, because uh, Saul was temporarily blind, blinded. And uh, so Ananias uh, prayed for him and then the, 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 <laughs> the blindness fall down by the scales. And then that was a good one. Uh, but that one is, uh, you know, only mentioned him, you know, he did not mention about his wife. Uh, but Ananias means grace. Ananias means grace, you know, in, uh, in the um, Hebrew, Hebrew uh, uh, meaning. And then Sapphira, Sapphira, um, well, I, I call it means law. And I show you why. You know, because Sapphira is... Um, I'm going to uh, show you uh, Sapphire uh, is a blue, is a blue uh, gemstone, you know, lam uh, bose. So it turned out, you know, uh, in the you know rabbinical tradition, the two tablets uh, on which the uh, uh, the Ten Commandments was engraved was uh, the blue stone, sapphire. You you understand? So. Uh, So, um, yeah, so generally, you know, it's a belief that, you know, the uh, sapphire um, represent, represent the um, Ten Commandments. Yeah, because uh, the, the uh, two, two uh, tablets on which the Ten Commandments was written was, you know, the law. <laughs> So, you know, when um, a name, you know, Ananias and Sapphira happen in the Bible, and it's 
talk like as if you know they somehow say you know they want to be part of the deal, but at the same time they in their hearts and you know they 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 don't really believe in the Holy Spirit of the spiritual. They they are still going back to the Ten Commandments. So it's a mix. It's a mix. You know that is that is a real problem because um you know we have uh, studied so many times uh, in different parts of the Bible that uh, from Galatians, from Romans, from uh, even uh, uh, Numbers, even uh, uh, the Deuteronomy, you know, that, you know, the law cannot save anybody. So, you know, anyone that's under the law, uh, under the curse. And, and so, you know, this is, this is, um, you know, uh, you know, really uh, serious. Now, you know, if you think about that, that is a little bit like what's going on now. What's going on now is because um, a lot of churches are still believing uh, you have to you have to be a good man, you have to uh, do good work, you have to do uh, you know all this uh, do good get good. They even preach that, and then so you know as a result, you know um, they are. Uh, not honoring the the word of Jesus, because Jesus did all that for us, the healing, the the blessing, the uh, take away the curses and all that. And uh, but you know it's it's like you know they they just cannot accept that kind of thinking you know because their their mind is too rational, you know their their mind is only accept things that are scientific or something tangible. And cannot believe, you know, Jesus uh, loved us that much, but it's God's word. <laughs> it's God's word. So, I, you know, to me, I think, you know, the um, the Solomon's, uh, the porch, you know, um, has a meaning. Now, the porch of Solomon is still part of the temple ground, temple, you know, but it's no longer attached to the temple. So in other words, you know, that a lot of people, you know, is kind of like, you know, uh, have, have, have these um, even believers. I'm talking about a lot of believers in the world. Now, I believe, I want to declare that, I believe that Jesus Christ will save everyone that believes in Jesus Christ as Savior. No matter what um, denominations, uh, whether they have little faith or great faith, uh, everyone that believes in Jesus Christ, you know, whosoever will, will be saved. But, you know, there is different levels of uh, belief. Because, uh, you know, um, some of the churches, they, they only teach about the eternal, you know, the kingdom. You know, so, so they teach that and then, and, and that's good. You know, we're thankful for that there because they, they, they are, they are, you know, belong to the kingdom of the Lord. Okay, and then I bless them for that. But, you know, because the fact that, you know, um, churches have, you know, religious leaders that still try to, you know, hanging on to the uh, Ten Commandments, the laws, you know, trying to uh, do work like the, uh, like the uh, old covenant people. They, they try to practice that. And then they tell people to do that. Now, that is, that is, uh, there's some, some problems, you know, because, um, well, you, you already seen, you know, those, uh, Jews, you know, if they have believed in Jesus Christ, you know, in their porch of Solomon's, they would have been saved, but they rejected it because, uh, they, they just could not believe the works are real. Those healings are real, you know, because they, they say, well, you know, uh, tell us plainly, you know, so, so they have trouble believing God's word, you know, now uh, I, I, I'm grateful, Lord, you know, that, um, we, we have God's word and then it is, uh, you know, there's so much, uh, supernatural, spiritual and magical things going on. Um, you know, those are, those things, um, you know, are come from God, you know, about what we need to uh, believe. And, um, so, 
But the religious leaders, uh, they have trouble with that because, you know, the, a lot of time, you know, they, you know, they believe in the uh, denomination uh, faith. A lot of time they believe in the church. Uh, you know, a lot of time they believe in uh, even uh, some, some leaders, you know, so they, they play, their faith is not, uh, you know, fully uh, uh, to Jesus. So, you know, that is the trouble. And, and so, you know, you, and you, you can see, you know, um, in the porch of Solomon's account, you know, three times, and then you will see, you know, there, you know, those people that, um, uh, there, you know, they, they, you know, those people that hang on to the old covenant, they are free and they cannot accept, you know, fully. The, and, but this is all happened. There's a reason why the first miracle uh, has this uh, portrait Solomon uh, account. You know, Peter, Peter had the first miracle for the church. And, and you know, and there's no reason uh, for some of those uh, denominations to say, uh, there's no more healing, no, no more miracle. And then they even call other people, uh, uh, say, well, you're a false prophet, you know, because uh, it's not true. You know, now that's very sad because uh, they, when they do that, they, they are also insulting the Holy Spirit. And, and I think that's the reason why, you know, there is this uh, COVID-19 specially. You know, it, it doesn't make sense, you know, if um, you look at the, what's going on. So uh, uh, let's uh, take a look at what's going on in the world right now again. Yeah, you know that, you know, all these uh, uh, places, uh, all these places, you know, where they have the highest death, you know, um, or, or infection for that matter, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, very bad, you know. And, and, and you know, you, you don't know why that happened, you know. Of course, uh, that, you know, uh, the country with other religion also get hammered too. But, you know, you expected that, you know, because, uh, you know, our God is the only true God. But now, um, so uh, if we look at the, uh, in uh, closing, you know, we look at the, uh, Well, this is uh, the uh, this is um, updated today, December eleven, uh, at three a.m. Uh, this morning. And so I, I guess this is still for real. And again, you know, like I said, you know, the uh, um, all these are pretty high, uh, including US. And then this still a zero point zero percent, you know, Singapore. And uh, that's the reason. You know, the reason is because uh, over there they are preaching, you know, day and night preaching on YouTube uh, on all the venues that. Uh, you know, the, um, you know, God's gospel is all grace. Talking about Jesus is healing and blessing. And then, you know, because of that, you know, that I, I, I would say, you know, this is, uh, this is a sign. I would say this is a sign. And I also know that for a fact, you know, that um, on, at least on YouTube, you know, they're also preaching in uh, uh, some part of Taiwan. And the, so that's why Taiwan is also low. Taiwan is low, you know. Uh, so, you know, um, it's just like this, uh, this, the porch of Solomon. <laughs> it's like the porch of Solomon, yeah. You know, because, hey, 
we are when you we have that kind of faith in Jesus, and 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 it's 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 according to your faith. That's what Jesus said, according to your faith. You know, when you you have that kind of faith in Jesus, and Jesus is more than willing, you know, because He loves us so much. He already said, you know, we have eternal life. Now, having said all that, you know, I I do believe, you know, all those people that uh, depart early. Um, that are believers of Jesus Christ, they still go to heaven. It's only that, you know, because uh, they they refuse to believe uh, our God, our Lord is um, so powerful. They they believe wrongly, you know, um, you know, so that, that's why they couldn't get that blessing, you know, because um, the Lord Jesus won't uh, force the blessing on people. If they don't believe, they won't have it. I, I really believe that. And I'm just thankful, Lord, you know, whatever blessing they don't want, you know, we I I want it. I want it, Lord. And I want it for all the all the people in this meeting. And blessing on the family too. Let's pray. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I'm just thankful. I'm thankful every day. I know the world is in turmoil. They really have uh, trouble. You know, they they are just mad at each other. They're trying to um get help by uh, this and that you know but you know the only the only way to believe is uh, we believe in our lord jesus christ uh, because i know i know that uh, you love us and you bless us and your promise is so good that whoever believes shall not perish but have everlasting life well i i'm, I'm praying for blessing on everyone that um uh, uh, in today's meeting and i'm praying for their, their house, their families, their relatives, and all their loved ones. Because Lord, you know, you, you are true, truly our Lord God, you know, you have done all this. You have done all these good works on, on the cross and you suffer so much. You take away all the curses in the Old Testament by, by, by your work. So I, 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 I just want to praise you and thank you. And uh, I also want to pray for all the people that listen and uh, uh, look at the uh, video, at the sound of my voice. I'm praying for blessing and protections and healing and, um, and uh, provisions and shalom peace on them and also uh, the, the, their families. In Jesus' name, I'm just thankful, thankful Lord, every day. Um, you know, it's sad, you know, because um, they have added on this um, new festival, but they miss out on, on Jesus. And uh, But in time, they will find out, you know, Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. And that's why you also call us to be the light of the world, uh, to bless other people. And uh, we just give thanks and praise to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. Yeah, well, guys. You know, I, I um, it's it's very strange. You know, I I don't know why, but uh, somehow uh, we we got the, um, you know the, um, you know all those festivals that's going on, um, and then you know somehow I managed to find find the scripture, <laughs> and then you know it, it's a uh, it's a uh, you know the Lord's blessing on all of us. You know, for myself too, you know, and then. This is uh, this you know you just keep in mind you know all, all this history is the history of our Lord Jesus Christ. What That's happened to you, Wayne? Everything okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I said you were worried something. A, I lost okay. a front tooth. Okay, <laughs> front oh. tooth. Uh -huh. Is oh, your right. throat okay, David? Your throat okay? Yeah. How yeah. come you lose the front tooth? Oh yeah. You fell. <laughs> Got a huh? fight. Oh, <laughs> Lord Jesus, uh, bless the wing and, and uh, give him healing and uh, uh, then tell him to uh, take care of things and bless, uh, you know, the dentist. Uh, yeah, I see, you, I see yeah, your next, tooth next is Thursday, you're gonna, they're going to pull it out. Okay, okay, okay. It. I see your lip is looking different, right? <laughs> okay, wow, <laughs> you're young on your way of German. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw his face somewhere, it looks different. I see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank okay, you for well, praying for me. 
yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. See, you, see you guys. See you guys next week. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, Ruby. Oh, bless everyone. See you. See you. See you. Bless everyone. Okay. Love you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.